What's up guys, JP here and uh, for today's session we are going to perform a fish sexing. So uh, let's go! So for this um, uh, clip, I prepared a pail which is filled with water and uh, we'll go to our fish tank, okay? And from here, as you can see, there's your group A and group B. <laughs> Hi guys. Sorry for the light because it's too dark in here. And... Uh, Days before, I uh, already prepared a fish tank because later on, if we are going to separate the males from the females, um, I will uh, separate all the females in one uh, container or fish tank. So, for that matter, I uh, made a uh, DIY fish tank for our female. Okay? So, this will be the tank for them. They will be... Um, they're gonna be contained in this uh, area or this fish tank okay and so our fish I think our fish is ready for the for this activity okay? <laughs> and uh, by the way guys I uh, made some uh, new renovations here I put some azola okay this azola will be uh, part of the dietary requirements of my fish and um, uh, they need uh, more protein and I guess this one Azola is perfect feeds for them so what I do is that I gave them this one from time to time besides the fish food okay so maybe we can start uh, doing our uh, sexing okay so how do we do it? So first, we need a uh, food coloring for um, marking or putting it in the uh, genitals of the fish so that we may identify if it is a male or a female. By the way guys, uh, I would like to thank um, Sir Lester um, because uh, he gave me a lot of advices with regards to uh, uh, identification of the sex of the fish whether it's a male or a female and uh, he gave me a lot of um, advices just like uh, the other or the previous video uh, wherein I uh, made a uh, a colony or I, I put some old pipes in the fish tank wherein as you can uh, observe I don't have the pipes anymore and uh, it was so very uh, unfortunate that uh, on that time the fish were quarreling no but uh, looking at the system right now both tanks the fish are not that quite aggressive anymore so thank you very much sir lester for that uh, very good advice okay so before we start uh, i want to show you uh, what uh, materials i prepared for the sexing activity so um this one is a food coloring, so don't worry, it will not uh, harm your fish. All we need to do is to, to wipe this one to the genitals of the fish located in the abdomen part. Okay, so we'll put it here. And we have our net. So I'm going to set up the cam so that we can start our sexing. So let's start.
So this one, this one looks like if it has uh, three holes, it's a female. But this one looks like a male. So it it has only two holes in it. So I think this is a male. So we're gonna put it to the tank or in a separate pail so that we can segregate them when we uh, put them back in the system. So according to the experts, um, if uh, the fish is looking good and it's uh, bigger, it's a male, and uh, the smaller ones are the female if they are in the same uh, age. So looking at, looking at this one, it has only two holes, so it's also a male. I think this one is a female. Let's see. So we have one female here. So it has three holes in it. And I think this is a female. So I think we're gonna separate this one. Okay, I think this one is a male. It's a bigger, bigger body. Oh, this one is a male. So we're gonna return here the males. Then we're gonna transfer on the other tank. Oh, this one is a female. So that's it, after uh, separating the males and the females, I uh, found out that there are at least five females from the pack or from group A and from group B and then there are 12 males. So what I did, I uh, left six on the first fish tank and six on the second fish tank, they are all males and the females are already in the new fish tank which is separated from the males so all I need to do is to um, wait for them to mature and then I will breed them so that uh, they will give uh, a lot of uh, 
they can give a lot of offspring and, um, so later on uh, I will give you an update and uh, I will try to make uh, a colony for the female so that they can practice spawning um, I'll give you an update later on and uh, I hope uh, you've learned something today and credits to Sir Lester for the advice and uh, also credits to uh, engineer Martin De Leon for um, showing uh, I, I got the idea on how to do the sexing from the videos of uh, engineer Martin De Leon so credits to them and so, that's it and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe in uh, this channel and uh, share and like and I hope you uh, click that notification bell so that you will be updated with the uh, um, videos and upcoming uh, uploads so uh, see you guys on the next video bye